Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually decrease input lag and actually improve FPS. And there was a few issues with people actually experiencing FPS drops and having a little bit more input lag and delay within their game. So all in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a method in which will actually stop that, reduce the input lag, improve your FPS and performance overall, which will then obviously stop the FPS drops. This method is extremely effective, so make sure you guys do watch to the end of the video. Therefore, you do not miss out on anything if you guys do go ahead to enjoy the video you know what to do drop a like all of that good stuff literally takes two seconds of your time and helps up me way more than you guys think it's kind of the least you guys can do for me bringing this out to you guys remember you can subscribe with post notifications turned on therefore you are notified and never miss an upload just like this i try and keep you guys updated with everything such as fps boost fortnite news and any other content i'll be uploading to my youtube channel again i am on my daily upload grind now so you guys can expect a ton of juicy content from me and with that all being said let's just get straight into the video before this video starts i do want to point out that this method was actually founded by a guy called detty o you guys probably will know him from twitter he's a very big fps boost and pc tweaker he does a lot of things revolving around just fortnite in general and just fps boosts he's like the guy you go to for the best tweaks to your pc to actually enhance your frames he usually sells them online and does offer them to many pros he recently kind of released this method and kind of leaked it a little bit on his twitter and that is the method i'm showing you guys in this video he found this himself after the new engine was released i'm kind of just bringing it out to you guys and broadening it amongst my audience code life also made a video about this so before you guys all comment down below credit goes to code life i don't want to see any comments saying that i copied code life in any way me and code life are actually on good terms i i could say maybe friends we spoke before and there's no bad blood between us youtube is literally just a big game and loads of people magpie of ideas i can't lie he did give me the idea to actually make a video on this but sooner or later another creator would have made a video before him if he went to do it or even i would have so he was just a first to get his hands on this and actually release the video i'm just kind of bringing it out to you guys because i know all of you want to watch code life's video just thought i'd tell you guys that so we are actually just going to get straight into this and keep this video as short as possible. So what we are going to be doing is tweaking something within Windows and changing a few things within basically the game files. A very slight little bit which is going to have a huge improvement to your game. So what you guys are going to want to do is go over to your desktop. As you guys can see right here, I'm on my desktop. I do have my Epic Games Launcher open. One thing you will need to do is actually close out of your Epic Games Launcher. And as you guys can see, I actually did close it out on my display tray. You guys will need to do this. Just go into the display tray in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and make sure you are fully exited out of it. Or maybe even go into your task manager and close out of the Epic Games launcher there and close anything Fortnite related. Obviously, you will also need your game for the close for this all to work. Once you guys have done that, the second step will just be to press the Windows and R shortcut on your keyboard. You can just click on your taskbar and search in run. Here you will have to search in percent local app data percent like this. And then just press OK. Now you guys will be in the local folder within app data. So ensure you guys are within the right place. Here you should be able to find a folder which is called Fortnite Game. This is very similar to if you guys ever change your resolution or try to use a stretch resolution within the game and have changed it in that way you guys are probably all familiar with the screen once you find the fortnite game folder you just want to right click it and actually just rename the folder i know it sounds kind of weird guys just trust me on this you want to rename the folder to anything but fortnite game so right now it will be called fortnite game you want to rename it and just put anything but fortnite game you can literally put fortnite game and then put the word renegade raider at the end you could literally do anything you could put the word fortnite game apple but i'm going to change mine to fortnite game one you, you can literally just add a number to the end and that will just change the name the whole point is just to change the name of the folder doesn't really matter what you guys call it just rename the folder and then press ok and it literally is that simple guys you can now cross out of your file explorer and just open up your epic games launcher and then just simply run fortnite what happens when you actually rename that folder it actually resets the fortnite cache folder which is literally located within there and all of the cache which is on the game basically just gets restored or reset so you all you're doing is initially resetting the fortnite cache and over time the fortnite cache builds up and especially when you do updates and with this whole new engine there's going to be a lot in the cache which does cause things such as fps drops and the more that is in the fortnite game cache can actually also give you a little bit of input lag it can be sometimes unnoticeable but it is there it is always great to reset this every now and then and to keep updated on resetting this cache and this is one way to do it by just renaming the folder so now you've renamed the folder that is literally done the cache has been reset if you guys want to be all fully uncertain of that you guys can actually restart your pc afterwards it should be fine and you should just be able to boot up fortnite after that when you do actually boot up your game don't worry because it will actually launch as if you've never opened fortnite before it isn't an issue whatsoever your keybinds are not going to reset the only thing that will reset is your quality settings if you do use a stretch resolution it will put you onto native 
active when you first open the game. You may have to redo your stretch resolution and put it back on. But for me, when I actually opened my game, my stretch resolutions were still there, which is fine. For some, it may be different, but just don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. It's different for everyone. So just be cautious about that. But again, your keybinds will reset just your quality settings. So everything may be on high when you do load up the game. So just make sure you do lower it all and just optimize your game again in that sense. So basically just put all your settings on low so you are getting the best FPS. And now the cache is reset, you can literally just go into a creative game, load into any sort of game. And you will notice that your FPS has increased massively. And if you were getting FPS drops, you can obviously play the game for a few hours and you will notice that you are no longer getting the FPS drops. And everything should feel a little bit more responsive. It may just be me, but I've had a few friends who have done this and have told me it works. So you know, look in the comments down below, I'm sure people will be vouching for this. If it did work for you, just do me a favour, comment down below and let me know if it worked. Which will also then help other people to come to this video later down the line. Therefore they can actually conclude if they want to go ahead and do this. Again, it has no defect to a game at all. So it doesn't hurt to just try it out. Coilife literally did the same thing in his video. And Detio actually recommended this. So we all know it is in safe hands and is trusted. There's literally no damage to be done. So it's worth the shot. And even if you aren't getting the FPS drops, it will help improve the FPS regardless. It's always great to reset the cache. And yeah guys, that is about it for this video. There's not much more I need to go over. Again, if this did help, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. And also tell me how much has improved your FPS, if it did at all. I'm actually really intrigued, you know, I do like and reply to every single comment and it also heart every comment, so try me on that. And if you did get to the end of the video, I'm surely doing my job right. So the least you guys can do, you know, drop a like for me. Like, it's really appreciated. Remember, you can subscribe with post notifications on if you did enjoy the video. You know, you can always unsubscribe if you don't go ahead to like my content later down the line. So, you know, just give me a chance, drop a subscription. If you begin not to like my content, you can always just unsubscribe because it is an option. And yeah, with that all being said, that is literally it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and this did actually help you guys. Again, Deteo, Code Life, all linked in the description. Just sort of chill with you guys and reply to you and just speak to you in DMs over on my Twitter. So, the link is in the description. You guys can follow me there. Just thought I'd plug that. But yeah, guys, it's been your boy Farfetch, and yeah, peace. I'm gonna